Welcome back. This is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Bilap Suicidal. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, 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 what the heck? Ready up, dude. I, uh, I just find that so funny. So that was, uh, I'm, this, this is a video where I'm really hoping it doesn't, like, cut off the first 10 seconds. The mission is underway. But that was a little, uh, audio clip generated by, uh, 15.ai. 1515.ai. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description if I remember. I, I, I better remember because like they want me to put it in there if I use it. It gives you like a big pop-up and like doesn't let you close it for 15 seconds. So I'm a terrible person if I forget. But uh, it's from 15.ai. It is really cool. It's got a bunch of different characters and you can like type in text and it'll say it like as that character. It's like, it's like, uh, ma like machine learning text-to-speech stuff. It's, it's, it's super cool so... I saw it, and my first thought was, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have it do the intro for an episode of Spongebob. So, it's, it's weird, but I, th I think, I, th I thought it was hilarious. I just find it so funny. Sponge Spongebob introduced you to today. Sp Spongebob the Amajack. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. It's so cool. It's uh, it's Thursday today. Thursdays are kind of a bad day for me, honestly. They uh, it's just not a it's not a day I enjoy. It's not a day I look forward to. Uh, my mother stays home because she works like uh, evening shifts on Thursday, so she's home till like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock in the uh, in the morning. And uh, you know, otherwise, I, I kind of like my weekdays because I get the uh, the house to myself. I get to you know wake up whenever I want and not have to like you know, put on proper clothes and, like, do things, you know, but on Thursdays she's home, so I have to, like, do that, or just what I actually do is I just, like, sleep until she's gone. But even that's, like, not that easy, because, like, she's home making noise and stuff. It's just, it's just, uh, I, I get all the bad things of the weekend on, on Thursdays in the morning, you know? So, no, it's a, it's a, it's a bad day for me. Mondays are a day I look forward to. It's uh, I got like I got everything backwards, right? It's like Thursday, just one more day. I'm like, yeah, unfortunately. Mondays, oh, it's Mondays. I don't like Mondays. Nah, I love Mondays, dude. It's like a uh, nice break from the weekend, having to put up with people. I I, I whine about uh, having to like live with people all the time. It's not that I hate my family. I I couldn't say I love them, um, but uh, I don't hate them. Uh, it's just, like, like, that's kind of the thing, is I just, I don't love them. So I don't, I don't get the same, like, you know, I get to see people I love when I wake up, but, you know, it's not that bad, it's just... They're just noisy roommates, <laughs> is, like, the thing. Um, so it's, it's, it's not a, not a totally desirable thing. But Thursdays I have to, I have to put up with my mother being home on the, uh, on the week, uh, on the, on the mornings. Not a, not a day I look forward to. Well, on the flip side, I get to not have her home later, but my father's home, my sister's home. I do love my sister. I can't, I can't say that. I, I don't love my parents. I don't I don't hate them. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's mostly indifference, you know? We, I just I didn't have a good relationship with them growing up. They they think we did. I, I, I don't. <laughs> um, we didn't really get along so well. They think we did, but that's that's kind of, you know, it's kind of just more evidence of the fact that we really just didn't. You know, when when one when one person thinks that you have a great relationship and the other one doesn't, it's kind of like you know, hey, that really shows that like you're just not really paying attention, <laughs> and that's kind of the problem, right? Um, but uh, yeah, I just I didn't have a great relationship with them growing up. My uh, my father was fairly distant um, and uh, very I don't know how to say it uh, but he, he, he'd make a lot of he'd, he'd make a lot of rude remarks without like thinking you know like he'd, he'd come home from work and the kitchen wouldn't be cleaned and you know he'd be like you're home all day and you couldn't clean the kitchen I'm like well like you have a point but I'm 12 years old, you can maybe word it nicer. 
you know? Um, and, uh, my mother, I, uh, I used to get along with her, actually, but it, it kind of fell apart after I transitioned and, and stuff. Just, I wasn't really getting the, the, the respect I needed. She gives it to me now, but it's kind of like, you know, once, once you've lost that, that kind of, like, default familial love, it just, it doesn't really come back, you know? Like, one, once it's gone, the, the best I feel like you're gonna get to is, like, you know, something resembling, like, friends, you know? That's, like, the best you're gonna get to. Um, which is, like, unfortunate, I guess, but at the same time, I don't really care. Like, obviously my life would be better if I just, like, loved them and didn't worry about uh, them making noise and stuff when on weekends. Like, it would just it would be a straight upgrade, but... I just, I'm not, I'm not one to think about the what-ifs on that, you know? It didn't happen. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hey, maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll, I'll you know, build a relationship. They want it. You know, they're putting forth an effort to, like, build it again. I just, for me, I just, like I said, once it's gone, it's just kind of... You know, you don't know what you're missing until it's gone, but at the same time, like, you don't really know how kind of not important it is until it's gone either. Sometimes, you know? And it's just, uh, it's not really... I guess the way I view it is, uh, I could build that kind of relationship with my parents. I'd rather build it with somebody else who hasn't already, you know, broken that trust. You know what I mean? Like... They're, they're not worth investing time in any more than, like, anybody else, you know? The only difference is that uh, they've had the trust before and then, like, lost it. <laughs> so they've got a bad track record going for them, right? Whereas other people have, like, a clean record. So it's just thinking, thinking logically. It's just, uh... It's hard for me to invest that time into building that relationship again. Anyway, that's why I, I often talk about how I just, like... Get so fed up with my parents. I just, I just, uh, you know, you, you grow up not really being treated well because you got disabilities and you got, you know, mental issues and stuff, and and you're not getting the help you need, and people aren't aware of it, and it just, it just kind of all falls apart. And it's not sad. I'm not sad by it. You know, I don't need, I don't need pity or anything like that. Like it's not a, not fishing for pity or anything. It's just. uh... You know the way it goes. It's okay. I mostly just look forward to... Uh, oh, dear lord. I mostly just look forward to, to moving out. Can we, like, move anywhere? I mostly just look forward to moving out someday. I'm not really, uh... Sad about it. I'm, I'm excited for the solution. Get you out of here! I hate this stupid zone! This one's really hard... Um, so yeah, it's just, that's, that's, that's the story of, uh, of my relationship with my parents. My sister I love, she's, she's very dear to me, but, uh, we have, we have arguments, her and I, all the time, but, you know, ultimately, uh, we both kind of, I don't know, like, like, like I said, we both, we both have, you know, everybody, everybody's got mental issues, everybody's got problems in their lives, you know, and, uh, we both step on each other's toes from time to time, but, you know, ultimately, it's, it kind of comes back to what I was talking about the other day. Like, just be a good person, and it's okay to step on somebody's toes from time to time, you know? Mm -hmm. Slow motion, get the heck out of dodge. Okay. Kind of just boils down to, you know, the same old be a good person, and, and everybody will just be happy with you. Oh, dear lord, we're so dead. I didn't know there was another one coming from over there. Ah, yeah. Just be a good person, and, and it'll be fine, right? Cause we both step on each other's toes and like get into arguments and stuff. But then at the end of the day, we're both like, you know, able to feel bad about it. We both apologize and we both forgive each other. Typically, it's me stepping on her toes. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mislead you. It's typically me that's making the, the mistakes here. But uh. You know, she's she's very dear to me, but my parents, I just, it's just, uh, it's not. I've never been envious of people who have good relationship with their their parents. I know a lot of people, you know, in um, 
in you know TV shows, any kind of media, you know, uh, people will talk about how they don't have a good relationship with their parents, and they go over to somebody's friend's house or something, and uh, you know, their friend has a good relationship with their parents, and they like feel bad or whatever because like they wish they could have that. I've never had that, but at the same time. I also, I'm, I'm thinking about, I don't think I've ever had a friend who has a good relationship with their parents. I have, um, I had an old friend who was a, uh, a religious nut, and their parents were religious nuts, um, and they were different forms of religious nuts. Uh, they didn't get along super great. Um, you know, a lot of my friends had, like, divorced parents, and they didn't get along, um, and uh, I had friends who had like abusive parents. I'm just like thinking back on it. I don't think, you know, I, I've, I've known that I've never been envious of it. Like I've never been able to relate to those characters in, uh, in any kind of media who have uh, that feeling of envy for, for their friends, you know, lives or whatever, who have like nice parents. But I'm just kind of thinking about it. And of the parents that I have actually met anyway, I don't think any of them have had good relationships. Like, both of them. Both parents. Okay, I'm talking like, you know, typical, you got your, you know, you got your two parents, they both love the kid, the kid loves both the parents. Okay? I don't think any parents I've ever met of any of my friends have ever fit into that category. That was the last one. So maybe that's why I don't feel envy <laughs> towards them, because, like, everybody else also has just a terrible, uh home life with their parents. I mean, not really. It's hyperbole on that front, but... You know, everybody else also has a less than optimal relationship with their parents. So I've, I've never, you know, felt the need to feel envy because it's like, yeah, you're also not doing so hot. I've just kind of realized that. Because, yeah, it, it is like literally all of my friends who I've met the parents of all have bad relationships with their parents. Yeah, literally all of them. That's crazy. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a maybe it's a Canada thing. Maybe it's a West Coast Canada thing. Um, parents just don't care about their kids here, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, that's kind of weird. Do I hang out with the wrong crap? Is that what's going on here? Am I hanging out with the, uh, the abused and neglected? That, uh, is that the crowd I hang out with? Perhaps. I know a lot of... Uh, yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking even like... E even of most of my friends who I haven't met the parents of, I'm like, yeah, I just... I don't really feel like... Um, even most of them have a good relationship with their parents. Maybe it's just like a parents thing. Do you guys have a good relationship with your parents? Maybe it's not a Canada thing. Maybe it's just like... Parents just don't get along with their kids. I don't know why. I can't, I can't believe it, but... Uh, in my life, anyway, there, there seems to be a disproportionate amount of people that don't get along with their parents versus people who do. You'd, you'd expect it to be largely, you know, the parents treating their kids well and, like, having a healthy, happy relationship together and, you know, all of that, but... No, not, 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 not in my, uh... Not from my view. It's, it's, it's largely, uh, bad relationships. Which is crazy. It is crazy to me. You'd expect that, uh, you know, anybody who's like... I mean, I guess like a lot of my friends probably aren't choices necessarily. I don't know if I am. <laughs> like, I don't think that's really that important, but... Um, you know. <laughs> but like, uh, just just kind of... like when, when, when you're making the decision that, you know, you're going to have a kid. Or that you're going to try for a kid or whatever, you know. I just, I feel like, you know, if the possibility of you not being together in 10 years is there, you know, if, if, uh, if you guys don't really get along well, if you don't want a kid, you know, like, just, uh, don't, don't do it, you know? But a lot of people seem to do it. I, don't know, I think there's this, this social sort of pressure that people feel when they're in their 20s. At least especially back, you know, 20 years ago when I was born, 20, 25 years, you know, back in the 80s, back in the 80s, 90s kind of area. I was 95, but, uh, you know, back in that era, you know, there was, there was definitely a heavy pressure to have kids, you know. 
Um, so maybe I'm sure a lot of people who didn't want to want kids had kids. Yeah, they might be like, oh, I'm so happy I had kids, but it's like, I don't know, probably a lot of them are falling into that uh, social pressure of, of just being tricked into thinking that it's it's what makes you have a fulfilling life. And these days, it's a lot more... Uh, still not perfect, as respected as it should be to not have kids, but it's a lot more respected anyway. There is still a lot of uh, pressure to have kids. Especially by the older generations. Um, but even by, you know, like I'm a millennial. It's, uh, it's weird. Uh, people uh, still view millennials as being like kids, you know? Like being uh, children and young and all that. It's like, I'm 25 and I'm like almost the youngest millennial <laughs> you know like like I'm basically the bottom of the barrel like every millennial alive is older than 20 years old or like at least 20 every single millennial and uh, you know I'm, I'm 25 the youngest millennial is 20 and millennials go up to like I think like 33 or 34 or something like that 35 even maybe like it's just we're not young anymore, you know? But people still oftentimes view us as being young. I don't know why. I think it's because there was a huge craze made about uh, millennials versus boomers. Boomers are the old people, millennials are the young ones. And then people just never really got that out of their head, you know? So even now, it's like millennials are the... are the young ones. I'm like, they're not, we're not really... Like, 20 years old is young. Don't get me wrong. Like, 20 years old is... is Mm, I'd have to. Uh, I'd have to. Uh, it, it'd, it'd be a decision if, uh, if, if you know, if, if they're gonna like, you know, ask me out on a, on a coffee date or something like that. I'd have to. I'd have to think about it. Like, am I okay with dating a twenty-year-old? I don't know. It's a little bit young. Um. But uh, you know, we're uh, we're not babies anymore at the very least. There's three flesh pounds again, but this time the flesh pounds don't matter because uh, it's a nice open map. Just okay, yeah, we're on a boss. We're on a boss. That's good. That's good. Anyway, that's yeah, just uh, that's that's the topic of parenthood in in in, uh, in my life. It has been great. It has been great. I don't envy people with good relationships that have with their parents. I don't. You know, I haven't I haven't met any parents that uh, that get along with their kids. Um, other than, I guess, like, extended family, but I don't even know their names, so I don't, I don't know if you can count it as being, you know, having met them. But, uh, I don't, I don't envy people, you know? I don't think I'm in a worse position for it. I mean, objectively, I think I am, but emotionally, I don't think I'm, I'm less fulfilled or less satisfied or whatever. I just, uh, I don't really get along with my parents. That's all there is to it. They'd probably be terribly hurt if they found out I don't know care about them. But it's it's just like I just uh, well, like not don't care, but just like I don't know. I just uh, you know I, I said it before. I'll say it again. When when that relationship of trust has been broken, it's just it's hard to bring it back. It's hard to want to bring it back. I don't think it's hard to to bring it back. I think it's hard to to want to, you know with anything you know like if you ever you know break that. Uh, that boundary if you ever step over that line and and that trust is just completely gone like I'm not gonna get into exactly what's happened in my life but some pretty not okay stuff has happened um, not not you know physical abuse or anything but uh, definitely stuff that's not quite fitting <laughs> not nothing However bad you're thinking, it's probably not that bad, but it's just, uh, for me, I don't feel comfortable talking about it in, in too much detail. But, um, you know, the, 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 the trust was broken. It's hard for me to, to want to build it back. Like I said, it's I can build it back with them, or I can build it back with somebody else and, like, you know, pick your pick your poison. Which, do you, which, which, which is probably going to betray you less. When one of them's already done it a whole bunch, and one of them's never done it, you know? So, that's kind of my uh, my perspective on it. So, just uh, the moral of the story is is, is uh, 
you know, just uh, just treat people right. That's always the moral of the story, you know. It's just be a nice person, be a good person, respect people, and uh, you know, if they ask you to do something, and you say no, or if you say yes and then you don't do it, and then they get mad, don't get mad at them for getting mad at you, you know. Anyway, just uh, care for the people around you, I guess. That's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember, like the video if you like, subscribe to see more of the future comedy. If you have anything to say, I should have written something in SpongeBob for this. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye bye.